reggae is known worldwide, and some have compared Calypso's status, saying it has failed in comparison because it has a shorter reach. But Sparrow says not so. He says critics must listen to the music. Kaiso is doing what it's supposed to by telling stories and chronicling life from a Trinbagonian perspective with amazing melodies. But more importantly, once it continues to please people, it's fulfilling its mandate. Once upon a time, there used to be standing room only at the carnival tents. But within the last decade, that number has dropped significantly. And many of the Kaiso connoisseurs are pointing to that as proof that the art form is dying. But the mighty Sparrow says no. Those statements are premature and they're not fair. No, I think people making a, a mistake there and blaming the tents or blaming the people. And the people still coming out. But you see, what used to have the tents full um, yesterday and the year before and so on, it used to be just two tents. You had a young brigade and you have the old brigade. And all the people come out, and you, 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 you go here or you come here. Now you have about 12 Calypso tents. And it's basically the same among the people who have the desire to come out and the love for the Calypso. And they, they, they have to split themselves now in different 12 different or 8 different tents. The man who came into town with Gene and Dinah in 1956 says more radio stations should play Calypso throughout the year. He says this will benefit all parties. The artists will get a wider audience for their work and the public will have more Kaiso to enjoy. It will also give the radio DJs the authority to offer constructive criticism on the music. It's either the, when they start to criticize you, they, they, they don't like you, they want to slam you down and, and get rid of you, obliterate you. And um, what I think is good constructive criticism, but some people cannot criticize because they don't know any better. They don't know any different. So they want to criticize you, but they won't say, well, okay, well, you know, ask them, how would you handle it? They don't know. So how are you criticizing me and you yourself don't know? Taking his own advice, he has some constructive criticism for the Calypso judges. Well, first of all, I would like for the judges to follow their own rules. Sparrow says the Calypso judges should be able to put up their scores after each performance for everyone to see. I'm just saying follow your own rules. Because you could find that the same song, same uh, artist, judge number one, number three, or 15, whatever it is, and judge number one give him 90 out of 100. Number two give him 95 out of 100. Next judge give him 42 out of 100. Now, is that the same, same artist, the same song, the same criteria that you use? You see what I mean? As far as Paris is concerned, it's done in the Olympics and it would keep the judges honest. The history of Calypso is littered with the names of persons who've contributed significantly to the art form, yet were themselves allowed to die destitute or in obscurity. Sparrow's lot is no way similar, but he says we can always do more to recognize the architects of Calypso. The Bolo Christophers, the merchants, become easy targets for rumors, something even Sparrow has been the victim of. I've heard rumors about my demise for the longest while. I hear he had cancer, I hear he had yellow fever, something in the bladder, a double loose, a, a leukemia, and all them gossip mongers gossiping. I stand up in a corner listening. I ask them, who they talking about? Is then a newspaper boy, boy come out with the paper? Look at here, paper! You can hear a sparrow dead! Typically, his response is the purest form of turning a negative into a positive. I like to make liars out of them, yeah? <laughs> when they talk in them kind of thing, I come out and I start to do my boogie and thing. And, oh, you, you, you hear them? Old man, what could you go now and say, old man, what old man, you call the old? Old is for shoes and hat and jacket and tie. You can't have an old sparrow, you're mad about it. His successes make him a target for those who wish him ill. Sparrow's response to these persons is the type one would expect from one who has had a long and varied career. And I tell them, God is not my stepfather. I want them to remember that. It's not a joke I talk in. I say I never call him Uncle God yet. Every time I pray to him, it's Papa God. And I know me and St. Peter will be handling the lightning. So tell them all who make mischief with me, when you see the time come, and they see the rain start to fall and the place get dark and thing, watch out, I handling the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Sweeney Gray, C News.